Hey, what's how's up, it guys? going, Pastor Cal? How you doing, buddy? Good, how you doing? I've got thoughts running through my mind about Katie and I and how we're going to make this work. Before I make this decision, I need to talk to Pastor Cal. Are you, are you into her? I actually do like Katie. I really, really do. She's a wonderful woman. She is uh, so kind and really a rare find to me. I mean, finding her here was seriously one of the best things to have happened to me in a long time. This is someone who I can see as my wife. Do you find her attractive? Yes, actually, I do. Okay. I do. Now, have you shared a bed together? No. So you're sleeping on the couch? Correct. How do you yeah. feel about that? It's like her giving me the perception that, you know, I'm, I'm being friend-zoned. Eric and Katie have been moving at a slower pace than the other couples. And that's not a problem, as long as they both are on the same page as to where they are in their relationship. But it sounds like they may not be. We're not taking that step, but I, and I want to. And her, and her anxiety with you know, being portrayed a particular way, I think we never really came to the table and, and talked about finding a middle ground where you know, I could share the bed with her. I think I just kind of rolled along with it. Are you expecting that anxiety to go away once you leave Honeymoon Island? That's the gamble, right? Is, yeah, is, that's, dude, that's, that's a big gamble. I came to Honeymoon Island in the hopes of finding love, and I lucked out with Eric because he is adventurous, well-traveled, so considerate, so caring. Eric would make a great husband. So I feel like the luckiest girl here, honestly. <laughs> this morning, I wake up and I'm pretty exhausted from sleeping on the couch. I feel pretty decided on the issues, and I have feelings for Katie, and my heart is leading that way, but I can't commit to her on this island. To look Katie in her eyes and tell her that I cannot commit frightens me. I think she's gonna be genuinely hurt, but I did leave an honest note. Leaving Katie, I immediately feel relieved. I would have been more of a scumbag had I let her on. How do you feel knowing Eric isn't coming? Um, it hurts. I think that he wasn't ready to commit because I wasn't willing to let him into my bedroom. I want someone to like me for more than that. Um, I feel blindsided and humiliated, to be honest, but I'm still open to finding love, that's what I want, and I'm not gonna let anyone close me off. I wish Eric the best.